our world's a little bit crazy right now. We have this crazy virus, we have stay-at-home orders from the governor, but you still need to sell your house. So I'm going to share with you a getting your house ready to sell checklist and some tips for getting your house ready to sell that don't cost a lot of money. If you haven't watched my videos before, my name is Karen Jackson. I'm a residential real estate agent with John L. Scott in King County, Washington. So here are five tips. Tip number one, decluttering. You have to pack anyway, so why not box up the things that you don't use on a daily basis and those items that are not a necessity? Take down your family photos and knickknacks. The less stuff, the better when you plan to list your house. The pictures will look so much better. And people have a tough time picturing their items in their new home when your stuff is there. If you would like a copy of a pre-inspection checklist that I have put together, fill out the form below. You'll find it in the comments. These are items that a buyer's inspector may look at. You can go through this list to see what condition your house is in compared to this list and see if there's a couple items you can fix prior to listing. Tip number two. Give your home some fresh paint inside and outside if necessary. Fresh paint can make a world of difference. Be sure to use neutral colors. A buyer usually prefers to have a move-in ready home rather than have to come in and do a bunch of work prior to moving in. If the outside is fading or if it's peeling or cracking, you will want to make sure you put a fresh coat of paint on the outside as well. Make sure the entry door is clean and fresh and inviting. This is super important because it's their first point of contact with your home. Tip number three, tidy up the yard. I know our weather is not the best right now, but the grass is growing and so are the weeds. I know they are in my yard anyway. It is super important for your home to have a nice street appeal. We want people to drive by and then want to make an appointment to view the inside of your home. So mow the lawn, pull the weeds, Put down some beauty bark and plant some pretty flowers. How is the roof? Make sure the roof is clean and moss free and has at least five years left of its life. Be sure you don't pressure wash it as you can remove some of the granules and that's not good for it, but make sure you sweep it clean. The roof condition can determine what type of loan a buyer can receive. Tip number five, do a deep cleaning. The more sparkly, the better your home shows for a buyer. Buyers use their senses. So if your house looks and smells clean, they will assume you have taken good care of your home. This is for the inside and the outside. We've had a long winter, so pressure wash the driveway and the patios, pressure wash the house if it's dirty, and get rid of the cobwebs. So there you go. There are some items that will keep you busy during this quarantine time. If you have any questions at all, please leave me a comment below and be sure to go and download that pre-inspection form. I will talk to you next time.